Hello traders, FS Percoletti here. Today is Wednesday, April 10th, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full total analysis. So on the pound dollar, I still think this needs to be very bullish. I still think it needs to continue up, probably to finish off this wave C of an ABC correction, kind of like a running flat or possibly an expanding flat. I still think it needs to go up and take out these highs and end up looking something like that. This this is the monthly, so that's going to take a very long time to play out. So let's head down to the weekly. On the weekly, I still think this is a big wave one. I still think this is a running flat wave two, higher high wave B, higher high wave C. Definitely looks like a running flat. If that's true, that would be this would be a one of three. This would probably be a two of three, and it most likely would go up for a wave three of wave three. So definitely looking for longs on sort of time frames. Heading down to the daily time frame, I still think this five ways up over here is a one. I think it's almost like a five way pattern to the downside, like a leading diagonal wave A, three waves up wave B, higher high wave C, but that doesn't really concern me. Definitely respected the 38%. Definitely got a nice break of Stratzer. To me, it looks like the end of a crutch and looks like the end of a wave two and if that's the case it needs to continue up in this wave three so taking it down to the four hour time frame we do have cpi inflation data coming out today for the dollar and i'm still very bullish i actually think the dollar is likely to go down i think this is more likely a one but i would always label it as a one or an a i think this is more likely a crutchin i would always label this as either a b or a two and i would definitely label this as either a three or a c which i personally think it is going to be a three and hopefully it's going to help confirm that this really is the end of a crutchin on the higher time frames so taking it down to the one hour time frame, on the one hour time frame, I mean, we have a Fibonacci on here. Really, it still kind of looks like this is an ABC Kretzen. Kind of almost looks like it needs to go down before it goes up. So maybe today's news will cause like a spike reversal type thing. Might even go down and break Strutzer to try to trap everybody in a sort. I am still very bullish on the pound dollar and still very bearish on the US dollar index. So I'm definitely still looking for longs in an uptrend, whether it just keeps on going up or whether it makes a proper ABC before it goes up. Either scenario, I don't really care because I'm definitely going to be looking to get in to the long side for the continuation of what is hopefully a wave three on the much much higher time frames so don't forget to join my free discord group link down here in the corner and don't forget to check out my membership program that gives you access to the daily live trading sessions and my swing trade setups at my website fxpepcoletta.com as always thank you and happy trading